question that is uh, asked by very many people is so bariatric surgery is same as stomach stapling uh, you must understand what is stapling stapling is an instrument or a device or a means that we use during surgery so yes stapling is used in almost all forms of bariatric surgery be it a sleeve gastrectomy be it a roux and y gastric bypass be it a duodenal switch etc etc so stomach stapling is not synonym with a bariatric surgery so what is it what are we actually going to do in this bariatric surgery what what are we do, going to do so we are going to make your stomach small is this how bariatric surgery works yes to some extent yes so here i would want to define what are the different types of procedures that we see in bariatric surgery so classically they were defined in two different types of procedures number one a restrictive procedure a restrictive procedure is a procedure which restricts the amount of food that you take in and the other form of procedure is a malabsorptive that means the food that you eat is not going to be assimilated or absorbed or metabolized wholesomely so there is some sort of malabsorption added to the procedure and of course there are variations wherein we have combined restrictive and malabsorptive procedures right so let's let's try to define what are the different procedures that we have so largely procedures can also be a reversible procedure or a permanent procedure so in terms of restrictive procedure or procedures that will restrict your food intake we have a adjustable gastric banding which is also reversible and a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy which is a irreversible process in terms of malabsorptive procedures there are n number of procedures however to make it very easy there would be a classical roux and y gastric bypass there is a mini gastric bypass there is a duodenal switch and there is a bpd with a duodenal switch largely one can understand these and to add a more restrictive form in a malabsorptive form that means for example in a classical restrictive procedure of a sleeve gastrectomy over a period of time the sleeve that we make or the tube that we make out of the stomach is going to dilate to add another restrictive component we can use a ring or a foby slip or a band making it a banded sleeve similarly we can also do a banded gastric bypass to increase the restrictive component of the malabsorptive or a combined procedure so defining it again there could be sleeve and a band as a restrictive and a combined which would be a ruin by gastric bypass a mini gastric bypass and a, and a bpd so this forms the basis of the classification how we classify as bariatric procedures